All right, everyone, welcome to the Rugby League History Channel, home of Rugby League History. Some people call me the Rugby League Encyclopedia. I hope you're all well on this Saturday night, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having a good one. So, tonight's video is going to be the Many Faces of Jacob Glegg Part 2 video. Now, you might be asking me, Rugby League History, you already did a Many Faces of Jacob Glegg video. Why are you doing another one? Well, if you haven't already checked out that first video, make sure you do. But tonight, yes, it's true. I'm making a part two video because, once again, Jacob Glegg's been at it. And not only has it just been one or two isolated incidents, it's been going on quite a bit. And I thought to myself, I'm not going to let this slide. I'm going to do another video. So, with Jacob Glegg, if you're new to the channel and you don't know, Jacob Glegg is a notorious Facebook troll on Rugby League. He's also on Instagram and YouTube. He's a notorious troll that I'm pretty sure the most of the Rugby League community know already. He's banned from numerous Rugby League pages such as Sled Sledging Fanatics, Sledging Maniacs. Um, there's also a lot of South fans because he's a South Sydney fan that have disowned him as a South fan. So you got the likes of Jai's NRL stuff, CJ Moxley. You've even got one of the admins on Facebook there. His name's Stephen Zonte. He almost tracked down and tried to kill Jacob Glegg. So a lot of hatred runs deep for Jacob Glegg from the South fans, but also from the genuine rugby league community. He's a well-known troll, but if you don't know already, well, now you know. And over the last year, he's been making fake accounts. He's been trolling me. He's been trolling Nick from Australia. Warriors NRL Fanatics. NRL vid 090 he said some very distasteful things in the past he's done some very low things but tonight I'm going to bring you another story which has just happened over the last week so I was notified by an anonymous tipster about this I'm not going to reveal who the person was they're going to re remain as an anonymous tipster and he sent me a, a message from it was from a site that Jacob Glegg posted something on and I got the message at work. I was just minding my own business and then I got this message at work and Jacob Glegg's joined the Gold Coast Titans fan club page and he posted a link to Nick from Australia's video where he talks about the Gold Coast being overrated and he said in the description and yet he's the same guy who tells a 17 year old kid with autism to go commit suicide and jump off the cliff at Byron B Lighthouse, that's me. And he makes fake accounts about me. And yet this idiot has nearly 2,000 subscribers. Well, all I've got to see of that Jacob Glegg is I don't know where you're getting this information from because Nick from Australia never said anything like that. I know that sometimes people with autism, they have a problem where they take things literally. Yes, Nick from Australia has said in the past, to people go jump off Byron Bay Lighthouse. So maybe himself has said that, but it doesn't mean literally that that's what someone has to do. It's like when someone says the phrase, go and take a hike. It doesn't mean that you have to go and take a hike. If someone says, go jump off a bridge, it doesn't mean you literally have to go and jump off a bridge. But I thought to myself, well, if he's already posted this, maybe he's posted someone else. So anyways, I'm not a Gold Coast fan, as you know, but... I went on there as the Rugby League History. I, I signed up for the Gold Coast fan page just to see if he'd put anything else on there. And uh, I was scrolling my way down and then I found some of the Jacob Legg has actually posted on there. And he posted this on the Tuesday. And he said, Hi, you guys. Have you ever heard of this Nick from Australia on YouTube before? He's a North Queensland supporter and he hates the Gold Coast the most. Almost every video he does, he mentions him in some way. And he hates me also. He made fake videos about me saying that I made fake accounts and, and mocked Keith Titmuss' death. By the way, I didn't. And I'm only 17 year old with autism. Now in the comment section, everyone bought his story. Hook, line and sinker, the Gold Coast fans. Those poor, gullible Gold Coast fans believed the story. A few people said that Nick from Australia is a flog. Um, one person suggested that he that he uh, Jacob Glegg phones Crime Stoppers, and if Jacob Glegg won't do it, he'll phone Crime Stoppers for Jacob Glegg. There was a couple of other people calling 
Um, Nick from Australia, an idiot because he doesn't like the Gold Coast and he's a flog and all this keeper. Let me just say, just because you hate a club, it doesn't mean that that person's an idiot. So I hate Melbourne. Nick from Australia hates the Gold Coast. Lorenzo hates West Tigers, NRL Vid 090. Warriors NRL Fanatics hates um, Cronulla. I know a couple of other people hate South. Some people hate Eastern Suburbs, Sydney Roosters. It doesn't make that person an idiot. It's just the way that they feel, and that's just how it is. Um, but going back to this post, this is taking it to a whole new level. Like This is taking it way to a whole new level where they're actually joining the Gold Coast fan page, even though they're not a Gold Coast fan, and they're trying to con people, they're trying to get people on their side to form a little army against Nick from Australia and trying to get him shut down. I think it's the lowest of the low, and I thought I'd just bring that to everyone's attention tonight, that J.K. Blegg's the type of person that will do this. Um, just the other week, I had my engagement anniversary, and he created a, another J.K. Blegg profile. I blocked him from all the other ones, and he created this one, and he was commenting on the engagement stuff. There's nothing that he will go to to try to troll or interfere, interfere with someone's life. In the past, I mean, Nick from Australia has done two videos about Jacob Glenn. One of them, he tore him a new arsehole. NRL Vid 090 did a video about him. Warriors NRL Fanatics went totally mental in his video. Tore Jacob Glenn another new arsehole. I did the Many Faces of Jacob Glenn video, which was very popular. That got a lot of likes and it got a lot of exposure. But even after all this, Jacob Glenn doesn't know when to stop. He's got no shame. He's got no feelings. He's got no soul. And I think even though some people might ask, well, if he's doing all this even after all the other videos, why are you making this video of Rugby League history? Well, I guess it's just to get exposure out there that this is Jacob Legg and I just want to warn people this is what he's like. Is he ever going to stop? No. He's going to keep creating fake accounts. He's going to keep creating other accounts he's going to deliberately dislike the videos he's going to say stuff he's going to try to con people there's nothing that we can do about that all we can do as a, as a community is expose him when he comes up the only way i think that he's truly ever going to stop is if as we saw the other week with josh morris and that cohen tweets that sent that message to him and saying you're a fucking you're a fucking dog cunt you fucked up me multi you fucking cunt and then he sent the message and then it got exposed to the whole public. Fox League got a hold of it. Rugby League Report got a hold of it. And as a result, Cohen Tweets had to go in the hiding. That's one way that Jacob Glenn could stop. Another way is, I know it might sound a bit, it might sound a bit dirty, but have you ever seen the pedophiles on television, how they get arrested? And then when they get put on bail, their computer gets things on there which they can't access. So... There's certain sites that they're blocked from. It's like when I used to go to school. You were blocked from going on YouTube. You were blocked from going on Facebook. That's what needs to happen to Jacob Glegg's computers and phone. It needs to be totally blocked out so he can't access it. Because as Nick from Australia said a couple of months ago, for social media, it's not for Jacob Glegg. He should, he should be banned from using it. He shouldn't be allowed to use it. I know it might sound harsh or it's infringing upon his human rights or something like that, but he has to be banned from using social media. But anyway, that's the many faces of Jacob Glenn video part two. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more of these in the future. I know he's not going to stop, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you're new to the channel and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you've got some spare time, go check out the Ruby Lake History Facebook and Instagram pages. Anyways, everyone, this is Ruby League History signing off, and I'll catch you all later in the next video. All right, ta now.